Hello, my name is Anton Redforce and I head up the solution line Cloud and Common in Core Networks. And with me I have... I'm Cesar Orihuela, Head of Cloud Infrastructure at Ericsson. In this session, we're going to share key lessons learned based on our experience with 5G Core on cloud native infrastructure deployments. We have secured over 100 contracts with our cloud native infrastructure. CNIS in short, of which 40 customers are now live, and we have deployed over 400 data centers worldwide. We'll talk about what worked, what challenges came up, and what practical steps CSPs can take to make sure you get the benefits. Let's start with something foundational, getting the deployment right. When I talk to operators about deploying cloud native 5G core, one of the main challenges that are raised is the integration complexity. Most operators are dealing with multi vendor environments and modular cloud stacks. And integrating components with different compatibility levels from infrastructure up to the CNFs often results in fragmentation, compliance challenges, and rising OPEX. That complexity shows up in slower deployments operational issues and higher cost ultimately. That's why operators choose pre-integrated system verified stacks. In fact, 80% of our customers do that. So what are your observations, Cesar? You're absolutely right, Anton. I mean, integrating a cloud stack is complex and overwhelming. And CSPs are now shifting their attention to business generation and 5G monetization instead of uh, focusing their investments and manpower to integrate hardware and software components. So we carry that integration ourselves, lifecycle management, the solution, and then ship globally the same solution to all our customers. And the benefits are real because many tier one operators are already benefiting from the fact that they, can, they are able to deploy up to four times faster uh, a cloud solution compared to the traditional third party cloud stack approach. Yes, our pre-integrated system verified stack improves deployment times, but there are also more important benefits like improved stability and simplified operations. Pre-integration reduces risk, minimizes the integration burden on the, on the operator, and ensures that networks run smoothly from day one regardless of scale. For operators that do not want to sacrifice horizontalization, but want to make reliability, resilience, speed, and performance their top priority. Pre-integrated and system verified stack solution is the best option. Having a single trusted partner makes a big difference. When one vendor takes full stack ownership, the operator gets more support they get a verified solution, lifecycle compatibility across every layer, and predictable tested release cadences. So when you share responsibilities across multiple vendors, you increase the risk as well of finger pointing when problems occur. We've seen long lead times, even to place a simple solution into production, missed SLAs and unclear escalation paths. CSPs are left coordinating multiple parties instead of uh, getting the service back online. So one very recent example that happened uh, after the recent black, uh, blackout in Spain was a T1 operator performing the recovery of the data center was quite impressed with the time the data center took to recover with no data corruption. So a very recent benchmark as well that we run with customers with CNF on CINIS proved out consistently and showed up five times less high an emergency cases compared to hosting the application on third-party clouds. Beyond just operational speed, it's about simplifying complexity, aligning across domains and achieving cost efficiency. With a single accountable partner, you align solution design, operations, and support under one roof. Fewer handovers, faster resolution, and operational efficiency. Our guidance to operators is rely on one hand to shake, full visibility, zero confusion. One of the consistent challenges 
I've seen in the field is that operators often focus heavily on cloud native technology adoption. Containers, microservices, orchestration, but fall short when it comes to transforming operations. Without adopting a cloud operating model, even the best technology stack struggles to deliver on speed and agility. This shift in focus from cloud native technology to how it is operated is where many operators find the real unlock. It's not just about running CNF, it's about how they are deployed, observed, upgraded, and scaled. Through centralized automation, CSPs can manage distributed 5G core networks without overdimensioning. In-service software upgrades, ISSU, together with cost rolling upgrade, ensure that CSPs can evolve their networks quickly without compromising stability or service continuity. We have embedded these capabilities, CICD, automation, ISSU, into our 5G core solution, helping customers move to a true cloud operating model. And the results are real. Faster delivery cycles, improved uptime, and a foundation for continuous innovation. So yeah, that's true, Anton. The leading telco operators are already adopting the in-service software upgrade and cash rolling upgrade at network scale. The time for a complete network upgrade is being reduced from months to weeks. We've seen upgrade times up to 64 times faster than the traditional upgrade approach. With cash rolling upgrade and ISSU maturing into the market, we are also raising the bar now for automated lifecycle management of the data center. With OMC, our centralized management tool, we will perform the complete data center upgrade from Kubernetes layer to servers, NIC firmware, and even data and control fabrics. This will continue to simplify operations, reduces the manual intervention, and ensure consistency across the distributed network cloud, critical for running a truly cloud-native 5G core at scale. Exactly. And this translates to fully automated upgrade flows across the different workflows, upgrade, repair, backup and restore, across cost, compute, storage, control fabric and data fabric, bringing software-like efficiency to the infrastructure layer. Another challenge I hear from CSPs is managing the growing energy bills. As traffic scales and service demands increase, so does the operational energy cost, especially across compute-intensive workloads. CSPs are under pressure to reduce cost and meet emission targets without compromising performance or coverage. That's why in one of the leading tier one telco in Europe, we achieved a three times reduction in energy consumption compared to third party virtualized infrastructure while delivering the same throughput capacity. That's right, Anton. And we're seeing similar gains across the different operators that are deploying our infrastructure. In collaboration with Intel and AMD, we've seen up to 40 to 50% reductions in energy consumption by optimizing our 5G core with the latest processor generation. These results come from the joint activities that we have at R&D level, focusing on maximizing energy efficiency from all key players in the industry. So the lessons here is clear. Energy efficiency isn't something you add later. It has to be designed into the cloud native architecture from the start. The CSPs seeing the biggest impact are the ones building with energy KPIs alongside performance, cost and scalability. So these four lessons come directly from what we have seen in real world deployments globally across our 40 live customers with our CNIA solution. Across different types of operators, geographies and network sizes. From accelerating deployment and simplifying operations to transforming cloud operating model and making energy efficiency part of the core design, each insight points to one key theme. Cloud native success is about more than just technology. It's all about making the right choices early building for flexibility and working with partners that can deliver solutions end-to-end. -end. For CSPs moving fast into 5G and beyond, choose the right operating model, integration approach, and infrastructure strategy 
will define how fast you could launch, but how well you can as well scale and evolve. Thank <laughs> you.